The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Another year, another trip to the Sweet 16 for the Wisconsin Badgers. Yeah, it sounds like an annual occurrence, and it pretty much has been these last several years, but never to be taken for granted. This year, Greg Gard takes his Badgers to Philadelphia for the second weekend of the NCAA tournament, a Friday matchup at the Wells Fargo Center against Notre Dame. We'll take a look back at some of the highlights from Friday's game. We'll also hear from Jordan Smith, the lone senior on this Badgers team, and we'll have our weekly conversation with head coach Greg Gard. All coming up on today's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Iverson, leaning out front, Notre Dame stays zone, half right lane line, out to Brown, open three, right side, around the rim and out, no good. Half the rebound, back up and in. Ethan Happ with the putback. On right side of the jab step, puts it on the deck. Spinning out of the double team, feeds Koenig, open three, right side, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Showalter, and he sends it down hard. Tip dunk, Zach Showalter. Lots of time, a feed for Brown, right wing. Vito to Showalter, got away from Beecham, Showy down the lane to the rim, layup good. Showalter gives the Badgers a three-point lead. Got clock at 15, Vito Brown leaves it for Koenig, right side. Out to Showalter, 10 to shoot. Hayes for three, left side, splash it. Nigel Hayes, his second from distance. Painting against Demetrius Jackson. Runs it on the right hand dribble. 35 seconds to play. Painting a flip to Nigel Hayes between the rings. 30 to play, 15 to shoot. Here's Hayes to the line. Out to Brown, open three, right side, got it! Vito Brown for three, and the Badgers lead by three. 23 seconds left. This is Wisconsin basketball. Ten seconds left in the half. They spread the floor. Kane against Tate. Six seconds. Kane drives the lane. Up and in. Nigel Hayes from distance with the right side. They will return to the final four. They are standing here at the Cole Center for Badgers head coach Greg Gard. Showwater down the lane. Way up good. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Quick Trip. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By hy V. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. And with bonus cash, there's never been a better time to get your new Nissan. Five exciting new models and bonus cash at Nissan Now. Choose the 2016 Nissan Altima, just $189 per month, or get a $139 per month lease on the 2015 Sentra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know. I donated a kidney, and together, we saved a life. UW Health. Remarkable. I grew up on a family dairy farm. I, as well, grew up on a dairy farm. At the time, we didn't appreciate growing up on the farm. The baby calves, that was where my passion was. I found it, and I knew that I wanted to keep pursuing a lifestyle or a career in taking care of the young ones. There's been a, a Norman Rockwell image of dairy farming that's been painted for a lot of people. And if they see past that and they see all the different aspects of what the farm really provides, I think they'll be hooked. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together, and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with Spectrum Internet. Where will it take you?
it was right there. We had it. We had it in our fingertips and uh, kind of just lost it at the end. It's just opposite of what happened last week. I think my freshman year, us here especially, um, we lost in a game that we felt like we shouldn't have lost in. I think that really motivated us to get uh, back to the Final Four in my my sophomore year, um, and then lost in that in that game. Uh, and that really motivated us all off season to get to the, the championship game and lost in that game. So I think it just keeps going until you win that final game. But uh, right now, I think we'll respond well from this, but it hurts right now. It's going to sting for a while because we had such high high goals for ourselves and we believed that we could you know, win a national championship. And this is a game we felt we should have won. So, but I mean, we're proud of how far we've come and uh, we're proud of um, just how much we've improved over the over the course of the season. After my freshman year when we kind of went, you know, surprisingly to the Final Four, um, it was expected that next year, like you said, nobody really left. Um, everybody's still working, so it was like, okay, we, we're making it to the Final Four. So, And, you know, we carried that attitude into this year, too, even with all the struggles in the beginning. So uh, we, we never uh, lose confidence in, in what we can achieve as a team. we got to remember to stay disciplined. Uh, we worked on passing and catching all year. I, like you said, we probably do more passing and catching drills than all the other teams in the NCAA. And uh, to give the game away on something like that is really hard to swallow. But to understand that we came pretty far for a team that pretty much everyone wrote off uh, in December and didn't think we'd make a tournament, didn't think we'd do anything in the league. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm pit. So, I mean, I have a lot of things I want to work on in the off season, and uh, I think we're going to grow as a team. And I think everybody shares that sentiment with me, and I imagine us being back here uh, with a little different outcome. It's kind of the, the nature of this whole tournament. You've seen it a lot. Uh, they've, they've made a, you know, a big deal about it, showing the uh, the roller coaster of emotions that you can have. You know, we go from uh, Vito hitting the three to you know thinking uh, we have a chance to have the game and. You know, you blink your eyes, and the next thing you know, Jackson shooting two free throws, and now we're down five, and now we're going home. But that's that's what you expect when you, um, that's the price you pay when you play competitive sports. My high school coach always told me that uh, the farther you go, the more important the game, the bigger risk you run. And uh, you know, if you don't come out a winner, it's, it's all it gets harder and harder and tougher and tougher to deal with. But you know, I'm proud of proud of my guys. Like Coach Guard said, um, we're in a position this year where everyone told us we wouldn't even make the tournament, let alone you know, being a Sweet 16, so um, not to say that you know, I'm satisfied. I, I really do believe we, uh, you know, should have won this game. We were, the, we were the better team. We didn't play well enough, had too many turnovers, but all in all, I'm proud of the team. Extremely proud of what they've done this year, what they've accomplished, and where they were, you know, December 15th, January 15th. Uh, we probably would not have predicted that we us be in this tournament, let alone have a chance to be in this position. Um, but obviously this, will, this is going to sting for a long time because I don't know if there's a program in the country that prides itself more on taking care of the ball and valuing every possession more than Wisconsin. I don't know if there's anybody that works on it more than, than we do. And to have you know, this kind of ending, uh, hopefully it'll, be, it'll sting for a while, but hopefully it'll be great motivation as we continue to grow and, and move through the offseason. Car paint that gets developing nations on the grid. Working together, our discoveries are greater. Boundless together. Subatomic particles that hold the universe's biggest secrets. Working together, our discoveries are greater. Boundless together. Looking and looking, gets it into Koenig, right side shooting for the win, got it, got it, Watson Koenig at the buzzer. We talked going into the tournament about how this is the 18th straight year that the Badgers are in this NCAA tournament. That's a party of precious few. Now it's five out of six years that the Badgers have made it through the first weekend and on to the Sweet 16. That five out of six is party of one. And I'm thinking that might catch some people off guard, but you've lived all this, Greg. And uh, to, to, to say that, that you have taken a program into the second weekend, five out of six years, uh, in, in the big picture, that's gold, isn't it? When you go out, people, they, they, they make that a, connection now. Heck of a trivia question. It you is. Know, you could probably get a lot of answers other than Wisconsin. So I, I think it's just a huge testament to all the people we've had here over the years. And obviously this has been a, 
a long time of building of this program. It goes back decades of step by step just having things in place, whether it's been resources, facilities. Uh, obviously, as this campus has grown and the athletic department has grown, it's allowed the, uh, the, our basketball program to grow and, and the players that have been able to be a part of this. I mean, I, I get uh, connections or reach backs from people that didn't play for us, alumni from all ages, about how happy they are and how proud they are of our guys and, and how well they played. That, that's what is, is so fun now, I guess, where, where social media can be good and it can be good and not so good, but uh, the number of players, if it's Frank Kaminsky and his reaction that he was on social media after Bronson shot to, to beat uh, Xavier, Decker and Gosser and, and Mike Kelly, you know, one, right. of, one of those players back from the 2000 team. Uh, it was kind of funny. I thought I thought Sam had a great uh, a great post on Twitter. He says, "How can you people watch this?" Because it was driving him nuts right. because he's not playing. When you're playing, you're coaching. Maybe it's a little yeah, different feel. You right? have a totally different feel. And I've had other people tell me that too, that it is so much different when you've been there and in the moment and as part of the the team going through it. You have a, obviously it's emotional. But it's when you're away from it and you have really zero control over it, uh, then it really you really feel the nerves at that point in time. You find too in the coaching fraternity, and I'm sure you have done it with friends of yours whose teams have gone deep into the tournament, and now it's going the other way now, where you hear from some people maybe you always keep in touch with, but maybe some others checking in, just you know, coach oh, yeah. to coach. I, I always uh, my after this run through the tournament, it's been, I've always had to check with our phone service guy to make sure I what is my limit on text messages and emails I can get here because we're we're hitting the ceiling I mean the response we've gotten has been phenomenal but uh, you know yeah, ironically one of them was Freddie Owens who reached out and who had a number 24 who had a three from the corner and a, mm -hmm. to send us to the sweet 16 back in right. 2003 so uh, ironically another 24 hits a three to, to send us to the sweet 16 so just things like that that he Freddie brought that up you know the last time that that had happened on the last second shot and those are neat memories to rekindle oh absolutely Freddie left corner Bronson in the right corner and both dramatic comebacks in, in the closing minutes as well it's so fun to watch this program for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is that each team carves its own identity. Last year was a team that was historically efficient. This year it's been the, the improvement on the defensive end. Uh, going into the weekend, all of a sudden you guys are in the top 12 nationally in the Ken Palm defensive efficiency. That's really as much as been, I know we've mentioned it before, but it's worth bringing up, bringing up again, as much as we talked about what you've done on the offensive end. It's really the defensive end of the floor, maybe that has helped push you guys through as far as you've gone. Absolutely, we're not we're not still playing at this second weekend if we don't make some strides defensively. And you know, last year's group was such a video game esque you know group in terms of experience and depth and talent and all, all the things that went with those guys. That this group has taken on their own identity, and part of that is we had to become much better defensively. And I think really. Those two games in that first weekend with Pittsburgh and Xavier were as good as we've been all year defensively, and we had to be. They both, you know, come down to one possession games, both slugfest 15 feet and in. <laughs> and uh, when you get in this time of year, obviously all the average and bad teams are sitting home and, and watching on TV or on spring break somewhere. You have to be able to get things done uh, on the defensive end of the floor if you want to survive in advance. On a, in a box score among the categories with the, that you watch or that you see are bench points, bench scoring. I'm thinking with you it's more than that. And we just touched on defense here, but if it's uh, if it's Illy Kanan, if it's Khalil Iverson, Jordan Hill, whatever, it's other things that you're really looking to get done there too, right? Yeah, and it's it's been a lot of those things that even a guy like Showalter contributes doesn't necessarily make it in a box score, but the charge he drew mm -hmm. at the end was obviously it could be a game-saving play. He's had that happen in other hustle-type plays throughout the year. But uh, especially for those younger guys, anything they can contribute, whether it's Alex's defense in the post or Charlie's defense in the post, I thought th those two guys really helped us physically over the weekend. They were able to match the physicalness of the, of the Pitts and the Xaviers that we played. And then Iverson, what he was able to create defensively and give us a little spark in that first half of the Xavier game, got us going a little bit when we needed a little jump start and how active he was on the glass and those type of things. So we'll take it in every, any way we can. And like I said, sometimes it doesn't show up in the box score, but it obviously is felt through the team. One of the trivia, one of the not trivia questions, but one of the questions of the week that you, you had here recently was about do you learn something every time that you go out and coach a game? I'm thinking you learn something about your team even this late in the year because you're gone a few more days. You have that in the early season if you're playing in a, in a tournament, but now it's a, even though you have the distractions more of us and the more cameras and all of that, 
a little more time with the guys maybe too when you're on these trips. Yeah, and it's, what's really neat is in those ga days in between, if you're fortunate enough to win, or you actually get a media day before your game and then you get one in between. We had one Saturday between the Pitt and Xavier game that uh, you get some downtime with them before they allow the media in. You can see their interaction and how that group has grown together. I see more interaction and more closeness and more unity now, obviously, than I saw in November and December. And I think that's been our really, that's been the catalyst of why we've been able to do what we've been able to do over the last couple of months and how they've grown because they really started by, uh, by coming together tighter in the locker room. And I, and I see that when they have the, the downtime, how they joke with each other now that maybe things they wouldn't, wouldn't uh, poke around with each other with uh, earlier in the year. They've definitely grown tighter. It's always fascinating to me, no matter the sport, there's more and more metrics that are involved. If it's baseball, football, it's certainly in basketball, but there's certain things that you can't measure in numbers. And I think right. you're just touching on it, right? That's been it. We've seen that with past teams and it looks like it's developed. Chemistry is a huge thing. It can, it can make you, you know, it can catapult you forward or it can really pull you back if it's not good. And fortunately ours is very good. All right, Badgers head coach Greg Gard. He'll return in a few minutes with this week's great day and great question of the week as the Badgers sports report continues. Taylor with 3.9 seconds to play. He'll launch it for three at the horn. He got it. They're going to the final four. He'll hoist one. Oh, he hit it. Don't wake him up. Taylor's on fire. April 4, 2015, the national semifinals Badgers facing unbeaten Kentucky in a game they waited an entire year for after falling to the Wildcats in the 2014 semis. Senior Frank Kaminsky on his 22nd birthday leads all scorers with 20 points and 11 rebounds. Finds a cutting, Kaminsky down the lane, runs it up and in with the right hand. But late in the game, the Badgers go six minutes without a bucket and fall behind by four. Sam Decker leads the way for Wisconsin. A three with a minute 42 left gives the Badgers the lead for good. A step back three straight on, got it! Ice, cold, blooded, Sam Decker. The Badgers get a measure of revenge, ending Kentucky's run at perfection. The Wisconsin Badgers have made it to Monday night. They'll play for all of it. They'll play for the national championship. Zimbrick GMC is known for outstanding customer service. At GMC's full line of hardworking trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, you've got a winning combination. Whether you need the powerful and efficient Sierra, the technology and comfort of the Acadia, or the modern style and space of the terrain, you can't go wrong with Zimbrick and GMC. During our New Year's celebration, lease the 2016 GMC Acadia for only $269 per month. Find your next vehicle today at Zimbrick GMC. Fresh Daily. It's as much about what we do at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market as what you want to do for your family. So now you can pick up everything on your list, from the fresh milk, bread, and produce you've always known us for, to even more healthy veggies, premium meats, flavorful sides, and you bet, desserts. Stop in for bananas, baking potatoes, or jumbo onions for just 38 cents a pound. Every day at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market. See you next time. Think small, as in really small, which is precisely why patients like Margie turn to us for their complex surgeries. You see, at UW Health, we're performing the biggest of procedures through the tiniest of incisions. It's called minimally invasive surgery. It means faster healing, less scarring, and getting back to your life that much sooner, which is why small never seemed so big. UW Health, remarkable. There's really only one steak place that has the best steak. The most tender, most flavorful, mouth-watering steak. A place that makes the choice to serve you the best choice. Because we believe there really is no other choice. hy V Choice Reserve. Premium, hand-selected, 100% natural beef. hy V Choice Reserve. Because our choice is your best choice. Appearing in his seventh game this season. Smith spins the ball in his hands, eyes the rim, front end is good. Coming through the last four years, it's always been a group of guys coming through. Who I came in with last year, Frank, and those guys that I graduate, well, quote unquote, should have graduated with. Um, 
So yeah, it is a little different just being me this year. You know, don't have anybody that I came in the class with, and you know, it's kind of forced me to make friends and branch out um, and get more in touch with my teammates that you know aren't necessarily built in like when I got here. The group of guys that I came in with, so it's kind of forced me to get deeper with uh, my teammates, and I've, I've, I really enjoyed it. What's it been like mentoring the younger guys that have come in? It's been great. You know, I've kind of taken that role upon myself to you know, kind of teach the young guys, because a lot of them are playing right away, so they've had kind of an accelerated learning curve, and uh, I've had to kind of help them along, whether it's academically or basketball-wise, or, or a combination of both, you know, just trying to make sure that they take advantage of all the resources that we have here at the Cole Center in Wisconsin. When you look back on your time here as a student athlete, just how do you describe the experience? It's been awesome, you know, coming in uh, as a freshman, you hear Wisconsin, you know, we have a tradition of winning, we've been, you know, Sweet 16 every year, make it to the tournament every year, hopefully get a chance to win a couple games, and, but never would I imagine going to back-to-back -back Final Fours uh, with the group of guys that we got to know and the friends that I've made. It's just been an incredible experience. And I know you and Frank roomed together last year. Have you kept in touch with him? Oh yeah, yep. We, uh, we went down and watched him play a few weeks ago uh, when he played at Milwaukee. So it was good to be able to hang out and see him afterwards and obviously we text and call each other all the time and hang out. So. Yeah, definitely kept, kept, definitely kept in touch. What are some of the memories in particular that stand out? You know, just kind of the cool stuff that we've got to do. Like when I was a sophomore, we got to meet President Obama. We got to go to the Entourage premiere and when we were in LA uh, and meet some of the cast and crew that were in Entourage. Just kind of little stuff like that that we got to do that you know aren't necessarily basketball related, but being a part of this team gets you some pretty cool opportunities outside of basketball, whether it's a job opportunity, you get to meet the alumni. We have a huge network of alumni at Wisconsin that I've been able to take advantage of, and it's been great. What does it mean now, going forward, to be able to say that you played basketball for Wisconsin? It means everything, you know, whether it's icebreaker and an interview down the road, um, you know, just talking to people. We've kind of taken it that next step these last few years from, like I said, being a perpetual game or two win in the NCAA tournament to a Final Four contender two years in a row, so people know us, and I think I've benefited from that greatly, uh, just being a part of it, because people are like, oh wow, you played on those teams, and you know, that's something that helps you talk to people and be familiar with people that you don't necessarily know, and I think that's, that's huge. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered, and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together, and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with spectrum internet. Where will it take you? Zimbrick GMC is known for outstanding customer service. At GMC's full line of hardworking trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, you've got a winning combination. Whether you need the powerful and efficient Sierra, the technology and comfort of the Acadia, or the modern style and space of the terrain, you can't go wrong with Zimbrick and GMC. During our New Year's celebration, lease the 2016 GMC Acadia for only $269 per month. Find your next vehicle today at Zimbrick GMC. Fresh Daily. It's as much about what we do at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market as what you want to do for your family. So now you can pick up everything on your list, from the fresh milk, bread, and produce you've always known us for, to even more healthy veggies, premium meats, flavorful sides, and you bet, desserts. Stop in for bananas, baking potatoes, or jumbo onions for just 38 cents a pound. Every day at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market. See you next time. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Quick Trip. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. 
by hy V and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time for this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week. And Dan from Green Bay wants to know, Coach, when you're out recruiting, can you get a pretty good feel whether a player could be that guy, meaning the guy who wants the ball at the, at the big moment to take the shot? You've had a few of them in your career. Yeah, You've got maybe one or two on your team this year, it looks like. Yeah, and it's pretty, it's pretty evident. You can usually see, you know, typically it's usually guards or point guards, and that's been the people that have been in that position, usually because the point guard has the ball in their hands in game deciding situations. I and mean, we've had several, whether it's been Devin Harris or, you know, Jordan Taylor, Trevon Hughes, and yeah. you know, on through the now Bronson. So we've had Trayvon Jackson. I mean, sure. you go through, go through every <laughs> cycle of players we've had come through. It, it's typically that's the player you kind of go to. We've had other players hit big time shots too, but uh, for the most part, you can tell. You, they kind of develop that personality early in the career, and maybe you don't always see a positive result, but you at least see the willingness to take that shot. And that's the first step: is the courage to do it and the demand that you want the ball, and and also the respect of your teammates that they know where to turn when they when the game's on the line. So we're uh, obviously happy with the people we've had here over the years and obviously extremely happy with the one we have right now. Yeah, absolutely. And fans everywhere, it's one, another one of those moments you remember where you were when. If you weren't in the arena, you remember where you were watching, whatever the case. Dan, we thank you for your question. The Great Dane with the location up in Wausau as well as four in the Madison area, downtown, as well as the east side, Fitchburg and Hilldale. That will do it for this week's installment of the Badgers Sports Report. We thank you for watching. This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world-renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital, pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health, remarkable. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. And with bonus cash, there's never been a better time to get your new Nissan. Five exciting new models and bonus cash at Nissan Now. Choose the 2016 Nissan Altima, just $189 per month, or get a $139 per month lease on the 2015 Sentra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers.